for everyone. Happy New Year. It's time of year where we've got to treat our bees uh, against the varroa mite. I treat quite often through the year and uh, January now is the time that I want to do it again because it's my most disliked thing of beekeeping, bees getting viruses. I've just got over a virus myself. It's not very nice having viruses so the bees suffer just like we do. So let's not let them have viruses and let's keep them treated against the mites. So I'm going to go through the process with you, take you to the hive and show you how I treat my bees. And I'm treating with Apibarxol. It's um, a treatment that we can trickle uh, liquid onto each seam of the bees. So I'll show you how we mix it up and then we go to the hives. Here we go then. Obviously we need one of these sashes, 35 gram sassy of the powder and we can mix, we mix in that up with some sugar solution one to one and what we need is 308 mils of quite hot quite warm water and 308 grams of sugar so I've got a container here with 308 mil in it when you put it onto the weighing machine 308 mil comes out at 308 grams so if you haven't got a measure you could you could weigh the weigh it but anyway so we've got 308 mil of hot water there and then we're going to add 308 mil 8 grams of sugar as well as that you'll need uh, a syringe so um, this syringe actually is a 35 mil syringe uh, you can what you need to do is put five mil on each seam of the bees and I'll show you how to do that when we open up a hive but it's a, a maximum of 50 mil per hive this this um, syringe is 35 mil so this will do seven seams I never seem to get more than seven seams of bees normally about five so it, there's plenty in one of these syringes for me 35 mil but you can do up to 50 mil per hive so if I do have more than seven seams of bees I can just draw up a bit more so we have one of these syringes and uh, we also need some gloves while we're doing this and um, a mask to put around my mouth you should wear goggles as well the reason I I, I go through this stage of putting that on because when you um, tip this tip this into the water it is a powder and it can the powder can sort of puff up and go into the atmosphere and you can breathe it in so it's not really good for your lungs breathing in that powder so I, I do suggest that you do what the instructions says and wear one of them and wear these gloves you know it only takes a couple of seconds to put them on so we've got the water now, all I've got to do now is weigh the sugar out. I've got one of these um, containers here. This uh, keeps liquid warm, so it's a good idea to have the liquid warm when you pour it on the bees. So uh, this is like an insulation container. So I'll put that back to naught on the machine, on the scales. Now we want 308 grams of sugar. Yeah, there's 308 grams there, 308 grams of sugar and 308 ml of water. Now we mix the two together. Mix it up really well so that um, it completely dissolves the sugar because the water was quite warm. But it's, you know, not boiling but it's uh, quite hot it's a bit cloudy at first and then after a few minutes it will all come clear the water the sugar solution that'll be one to one as I say 308 ml of hot water and 308 grams of sugar 
there we are we've got 500 ml of syrup in there now and it's mixed nicely it's uh it's gone very clear the, the liquid it's just one-to-one -one syrup now i've got my gloves on and i've got my mask on <coughs> now i'm going to cut this off You can pour that into a plastic container, you know, like an orange bottle or something, and then pour that into the liquid to stop it uh, coming airborne. But I always do it like this. It's, so I'm tipping that in there like that, give it a good shake, get it all off, and then have a nice mix up. It's all gone, the whole packet. It's quite important that we get this. Um, solution right one to one the measurements and 35 um, grams of this powder so once that's all mixed in thoroughly that's that all, all stirred in lovely there's enough solution in here now to treat 10 hives five mils a seam maximum of 50 mils per hive so this now I would imagine you can put that in there like that and I would imagine that um, there's enough there to do 15 hives really it, it's supposed to do a maximum of 10 but you could do more than that because there's never 10 there's never 10 seams of beads in each hive normally. There we are, so that will keep that will keep that warm because they're, they're containers that keep the heat in. Now yeah, we'll go into this hive, open it up and see whether we've got loads of bees in or not. I hope they're still alive, it's the 5th of January, here we go. I've got my smoker going just in case I need it. I've got my syringe and I've got my treatment. So I'll draw up the 35. I'm using 35 mil instead of 50 mil because I'm say I'm sure there's not 10 frames of bees in here. Right, that's 35 mil in there, which is enough for seven for seven seams of bees. I'll take the old crown board off and see what's happening. So we've got some live bees in here. It's a bit... No bees at the top, but let's have a look and see what they might be down on the second box because there's two boxes on here. We'll have a look quickly to see whether or not there's any stores in here. There's loads of there's loads of food in here. Right, there is one, two, three, four, five, six frames of bees in here and um, they are in between this top box and the next box so if I split the boxes in half to treat them it will break the cluster so I'm going to treat them through the top box five mil in each in each seam it's ten mil That's 15 mil. That's 20 mil. That's 
there's 25 mil there, there's five seams. In actual fact, this is there's a sixth seam I can see. I'll do another five mil down there. So that's 30 mil I've given them. Right, we'll have a look in this hive then to see how they're getting on. This is um have you ever seen any of my other videos this is a, a cage I put on to prevent the woodpeckers from drilling away I'll take the cage off right, that's 35 mil Now we see where the bees are. This is um, a brood and a half, this beehive. So the bees could be in between the two boxes. I'm hoping they'll be at the top. We'll see what happens. <coughs> right, they're at the top, so that's good. I'll tell me bees we've got. We've got one, two, three, Four, five, six frames. Six frames, that's 30 mil. So five down each one. So I need to leave five mil in my syringe. Got 10 mil there, so just a little bit more. On. That's it. There's 30 mil gone in there now. if you can make it out but there's um, quite a good thick amount of bees in each of one of them seams it's quite dark to see in there but they are all alive and they've had their mite treatment we're going to the next hive now right there's another hive we'll have a look in this one it could be a different story the bees might be not doing so well so we'll open it up here we go I'll take the cut I'll take the cut the cover off there we are then we draw up 35 mil here don't forget I did say it's um, maximum of 50 mil per hive so this is only enough for seven frames 35 mil there go, it's 35 mil there enough for seven frames I hope they're on the top box clustered and not in between because when they're in between it is a little bit awkward yep they're on the top yeah, there's quite a few bees in this one it's a bit flighty so a little bit of smoke we've got one two three four five six Six frames of bees there, so that's 30 mil.
Yeah, that's left me with five mil now. So oh. they've had 30 mil, five mil on each seam. Cover them up quick as I can again. I've got insulation on the hive. That's another one done. There we are. There's a, another hive. We're going this one. It could be different to the other. You never know. So I thought I'd show you a few anyway, just to see the difference. I'll open it up now. So, 5 mil each seam. There's 35 mil there. This one, these are down the bottom. Oh, it's a dead out. So we've got mm -hmm. one, two, three, four seams of bees here. So we want 20 mil. Mm -hmm. They are a bit lively these. Mm -hmm. There we are. That's 20 mil there. again now in the warm and uh, you never guess what I didn't film the next hive I've done and you couldn't believe it it was 10 frames full to the brim of bees so it's a shame I and actually got the camera run, rolling on that hive but um, yeah so I, I needed the 50 mils for the whole hive for that one and I couldn't believe the amount of bees in there so um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and for all those that have subscribed to my channel. Uh, a special thanks to those in Texas. I've got uh, a few subscribers in Texas and uh, one uh, has recently subscribed and uh, I thank you for it and uh, for, jo for joining our little group of uh, people beekeeping together because really we are beekeeping together in a way. Uh, if you're watching my channel uh, we're doing things together. You can comment on my channel and I will reply to you as soon as possible and uh, I think it's great that we've got this kind of relationship all around the world together beekeeping together it's a great hobby and I'm looking forward to this year 2020 when I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, videos especially on um, rearing queens because if you can rear queens yourself sustainability is a really good thing for any apiary instead of keep buying queens from other breeders you could you, you can buy queens from other breeders every now and again just to change your stock a little bit, your genetics, but I think it's really good. But I'm also going to be doing some videos on um, basic stuff for very new beekeepers so that it will give um, the very basics to beekeeping as well as going up a stage when you want to queen rear and different things like that. So thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all again on the next episode. <laughs> Ta-da!